Hello everyone. After my initial review of the mass tool uh, multimeter here with uh, the so-called oscilloscope function, I have received a very large number of uh, questions and a lot of people ask me a lot of stuff about it. Uh, either if uh, is this accurate or not, if the graph display displays uh, data uh, okay or it's uh, not in the range. Uh, is it true RMS or not? Uh, can you compare it with something else that is better and so on? So today for you I have prepared this uh, function generator that creates different types of uh, signals such as uh, sine, sine wave uh, and uh, rectangular wave and also I have a true RMS uh, multimeter, a fluke 179 model and I'm going to try to generate a signal, measure it with the fluke and compare it with this and we'll get an idea of how this thing works and if it's accurate or not and how well it displays the wave from so I'm going to turn on the fluke and I'm going to use alternative voltage the same will go for the mass tool and I'm going to power on the function generator and you can see uh, this is currently at 9 point hertz and you can see a pulsating voltage here nothing out of particularity but you can see that the fluke has a faster response rate uh, this one is kind of a laggy and shows um, average this one varies very fast and if I reduce the frequency and I'm going to go lower it's now more obvious you can see this bar graph here pulsating and the voltage that varies very much uh, this jumps from 2 and something falls to 3 volts while this shows around 3 volts because the current is like that the voltage actually and it's varying too fast to get a voltage reading because it increases and decreases, increases and decreases. So I'm now going to up the frequency, I'm going to uh, 100 hertz, and now I actually have 42 hertz here, and both meters are now stable and showing the voltage. Now I'm going to compare the voltage, so this true RMS shows. 3.154 and this is 3.15916 so they are rather close and if I'm going to increase the frequency I'm now doing over 100 Hertz 3.16 3.159 so they are very very close and I'm going to go to extremes now I'm going to 1k band and I'm doing 1 kilohertz, 1.5, almost 5 kilohertz. So now it's 3.13, 3.08. So now we do have a variation in voltage, and probably the true RMS now uh, has an influence over that. Now I'm going to go to frequency mode, so this shows frequency and I'm going to do the same for the mass tool and the frequency it's identical on both meters and I'm going to try low frequency now it's 15 Hz only and you can see 15.43 15.43 so they are almost identical while this meter shows 15 4.4343 so this is for two the fluke is closer to the signal generation so there is a small difference between them but not huge now I'm going to go to the graphical mode uh, I need to go to alternative voltage and I'm going to wait a bit for it to settle I'm going to press this auto switch and we have the wave for now it shows the frequency and the voltage and the voltage is still similar with this one so there's not a much devi deviation so now I'm going to go to 100 Hertz and it's actually 155 and I'm going to press auto range again 
and we have the graphical display here working right showing the correct frequency and also the voltage here and now I'm going to go to square wave let's see a square wave and there you go we have the square wave let me see if I can increase the amplitude a bit uh, and if I try auto range sadly although the volts are high it doesn't show a very big graphic there and here I see the frequency so let's go to voltage 10.76 volts and here it says 11.96 volts so it seems that uh, when the frequency increases the voltage is not the same and let's go to sine wave again and on sine wave it's identical 7.58 7.58 so uh, there is something when you change the um, type of um, wave so I'm going to only use uh, sine wave for this test alright and now let's ramp up the frequency going to 1 kilohertz and it's now 1. Uh, 50 kilohertz let's check the frequency here so 1.509 1.509 so they are showing the correct frequency and the voltage is uh, 7.58 7.58 uh, so uh, once again they are close the voltage and I can scale this out arrange it and I have the displayed graphic interpretation there so let's see how high this thing can uh, go I'm going to increase the frequency and it's still working 1.8 I'm going to switch this to frequency also 1.9 kilohertz I'm at 2 kilohertz Oh, this thing is still showing the frequency and I keep increasing it and I'm the max of the generator it will not go more than that so I'm going to switch to 10k range and I'm now doing 20 kilohertz and this shows a 0.L so it's not displaying the frequency anymore if I press the auto range it's still shows some kind of graphic but it's not showing the frequency so I'm going to go under 20 kilohertz and there you go it has started to work and it's exactly as in the manual the manual states that it will work until 20 kilohertz which it actually does because it shows the correct frequency now and it does display the graphic although the auto range seems to be a bit confused but you can use the manual range to display the graphic now and there you go we have the sine wave displayed again and now we are going to have a bit of fun with this so this is the sine wave here uh, as you can see and I can go to a rectangular waveform and I can adjust the amplitude a bit and there you go you can see a very nice square wave there a very clean graph you can um, adjust the display from uh, these uh, keys there and we have a beautiful beautiful graphic and of course we have another wave type we can auto range it and we can adjust the amplitude for you to see it better look at that so it's really really nice uh, and let's check again the voltage let's go back to sine wave and it's now 3.73 3.73 so the voltage is spot on and I'm doing 
205 hertz so there is a deviation of the voltage when the frequency is high so if I go to 1k it's 3.7 volts while this is 3.58 volts so this may not be true RMS uh, they do not state that information in the manual they only mention something about RMS measuring but not true so um, that is a caution to be taken into account nonetheless still a useful tool with minor voltage deviation uh, only in some situations so still a good multimeter to have around in your toolbox